Hey guys, and welcome to a very special episode of Quest Tutorials. The reason that this episode is special is because I'm trying a one take voiceover. That means I'm not going back and editing my voice. I'm not doing multiple takes to make sure I did the right one. I'm literally pressing play on the audio here, pressing play on the video, and I'm gonna do this all in one take. You're gonna hear all the mess ups. You're gonna hear the mic bumps. You're gonna hear my me do my brain farts like I did right there. So just bear with me, come along on this journey and we'll have some fun together. As you can see right here, this is the dig of the build. This is the basis for the rest of the entire build. Now it looks confusing because of all the angles, but all you have to do is pause the video on all of the levels and just do the shape that I showed you there. And it's very simple. It all turns out well if you just go one by one and take your time. Right here, we're digging three blocks back on each of these, these angles, each of the four sides of our build. Now, these are gonna be the entrances to the rooms here in the future. As you can see, we're using some mossy stone brick and regular stone brick. Now, throughout the build, we're gonna be using mossy stone bricks because I wanted this whole entire build to feel like it was being, I don't know, overtaken by nature or maybe just like it's been here a long time, like the world has kind of started taking it back. I think it fits really good with this build since it's underneath the ground. Technically, it's kind of a hole with rooms underneath the ground, but I just really like the mossy stone brick here. So something a little different in this video that you'll see today is I'm gonna be doing this bottom area with you block by block all the way through. Now in my previous videos, I would do one wall, I would do one side of a, a ceiling, and then I would time lapse the rest because my adage is once you've done it once, you could do it again. So, but here, there's a lot of angles. There's a lot of blocks. It kind of looks confusing if you back up from it. So I just wanted to go with you guys block by block and do it together just so we can make sure that we all get it and it's as easy as possible. Speaking of things being easy, do you guys think my tutorials are easy enough? Are, are they easy to follow if you've seen them? If this is your first one, welcome. I am so grateful that you're here. But I would love any constructive criticism, any ideas of how I can make my videos better or how I can make them easier for you guys. Do you guys like the time lapses that idea? All right, that idea. <laughs> do you guys like the time lapses that I do? Or would you rather me do more block by block stuff in my videos? Please leave any comments down in the comment section and let me know. I love getting your guys' feedback. Speaking of feedback, I know I'm gonna beat a dead horse, but I would love feedback on the music that I choose. Now me personally, I spend a lot of time, sometimes upwards of an hour, listening and finding music that fits my videos. I try to find music that's kind of fun, unless I'm trying to do a really like soft video, then I'll find one that's soft. But I, I try to find the music that actually fits what we're doing. Do you guys like the music in my videos? Do they add to the videos or do they you know, take away from the videos? I would love to hear your guys' opinions on my music that I choose. Again, leave your comments down in the comments section and let me know, help me help you guys. Let's make these videos as good as they can be for you guys. All right, right here, you can see that we're leaving the grass blocks here in the middle of all these corners. Now, I wanna place some flowers here. I wanna place some grass. I wanna make it feel like it's overgrowing. And it, you know, it just gives it a nice character, like somebody was planning this when they were building it. Not, I mean, not me planning, and obviously I plan it, but like, I like to have a story in my head of my builds, and I'm sure you guys do too. But I, I would like to think that, yes, this is like a bunker for maybe, an army or a town, but they wanted to still make it pretty. And also, I'm sorry for that glitch. I had a glitch in my last video. Sometimes it happens. My my videos get corrupted. I don't know where. I haven't figured it out yet. So when I do, I'll be able to fix them. So I'm sorry for that little glitch. Um, I know it doesn't subtract a lot from the video, but I just wanted to apologize. All right, as you can see, we are done with all of the block placement on the inside. 
Right here, we're working on the entrances and that's why we're placing these walls. The, you go two blocks from where you can walk down and you place the walls and then we can connect the walls with these stairs. Now, as you can see, we're going three stairs away from each wall and then we're using nine stairs in like an alternating pattern so they connect. And I know stairs can be super confusing to connect. It took me like a month after I started doing these videos to actually figure out the right angles to connect the stairs every time. So basically you're just gonna do nine stairs alternating, connect them to the three stairs that go to the wall and you have yourself your walls for the outside. Now right here, I am gonna speed this up. No one wants me to, no one wants me to, no one wants to watch me do four walls. I think that just gets boring. You guys would probably leave the video right there. If you already have it, I hope you, you've you stuck around this long. I'm super grateful if you have, but uh, yeah, we just didn't wanna, you know, keep doing that over and over and over. It could get a little monotonous. Now on these entrances, I love these entrance archways. They are super simple to do and I think they actually look really good. Now a problem a lot of us YouTube builders can get into is actually adding too much. We can actually make it look too convoluted. We can, we can create chaos by just adding blocks. These arches are very simple to make, but I think they look really good. You can use them in so many situations. You can use them in the entrance to your entire village. You can put them in front of one of your actual buildings and just connect them to another block behind it and they act very good as an entrance that way. So just use these wherever you can. They're super easy and they look good. I love these entrances. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but I keep backing up from the mic. I'm actually standing this time. I think I, uh, I think a little better when I'm standing and I keep backing up. So leave a comment in the section, in the section below, if you can actually hear me breathing every time that I step back, it would actually be kind of funny if you guys did. Okay. Right here, I am just entering these pathways. Now, I'm not making them go crazy far out. I'm just like placing them in here to let you guys know that you can do pathways like this. You can connect them to your village. You can connect them to your mind. You can connect them anywhere. I just wanted to place them to showing, show you that you can do it like this, or you can just use gravel. You can use other kinds of dirt. Um, I actually like the pathway you can create with a shovel. Um, I think it looks very clean and very nice. Now I'm gonna take a drink because my voice is getting very dry. Okay, to do all the shrubbery and the foliage, we're gonna use some bone meal. Now bone meal, I love it because it gives that randomness to all of your flowers and all your grass. But the thing that I absolutely do not like about bone meal is the tall grass. I don't like tall grass on any of my builds. I'm sure I will find a reason for them in the future, but right now I haven't found that reason, so I don't use it. I knock them down every time that I use bone meal. Now, the good thing about using the bone meal and having the tall grass that we can knock out is we can replace those areas that we knocked out with flowers because knocking out that tall grass, you still have the random generation that they created. And by placing flowers in those, you can actually have random placements for these flowers. As you'll see in that part right there and at the end of the video, yes, I did miss a flower on the top corner of that um, side over there. I, it ate me up when I was editing the video right there to the right. Yep. That was it. Totally missed it. I'm sorry. It, it's eating at me, but I'll go back in and change it for myself. Just be sure that you guys place a flower there. There, that is the entire outside completely done. As you can see, we're moving on to our rooms. Now, when you get to the block that's the entrance area, we're gonna dig back five blocks, and then you're gonna dig to the sides two blocks and then clear the entire thing out. Just make the entire room five blocks back, two on each side, so technically that's five blocks wide, and you have your room. 
Right here, we're adding this lantern and it's actually gonna stay there. It helps us with light as we're building right here, but it's actually gonna stay there in the entire time. So just place it as you're going and it'll give you a lot of light that you can actually build with. Now, when you're doing things with different blocks, and I know a lot of YouTubers like to use, you know, um, cobblestone blocks or regular stone blocks with stone brick to make it the textures a little better to switch them up. Um, I, my technique that you just saw me do there is I like to use one block, go through, place them in random spots, and then I'll go back with the other blocks and place those in the empty spots that we made with the initial blocks. That's my technique that I use. If you guys have a better one, please let me know. I love hearing other people's techniques on how they build. That would be awesome. Now, I thought these walls right here were a little boring where we're gonna put our door, so just add trap doors. That's all you have to do. There's a lot of things in these builds or in all of your builds where you can just add trap doors and it kind of fixes everything. Yes, I did mess up that door. I don't know why, but I have a hard time remembering where to place doors. Like, do you guys have the same problem? I know I've been asking you to comment a lot, but please let me know that I'm not the only one that has trouble placing these doors. As you can see in that time lapse, I just wanted to show you that we are going to do the rest of the rooms just like the, our first one. Now, speaking of our rooms, this is going to be our first room. This is going to be like our bunker, the place that they sleep. Now, as I was telling you, I like to have stories for all my builds. And this one felt like maybe like an army bunker, like because it's in the ground, it gives you a little defense for skeletons or creepers or things like that. So I kind of thought of it that way as I continue to build and it grew on me. So I added some kind of bunk beds right here that the, the soldiers could go up. Now you could even knock out the ground underneath and put more beds and it would be like a double bunk bed. That would be awesome. Go ahead and do that if you want. Now here we're gonna add another portal. I haven't done this in my last couple of builds. I don't know why I do I don't do more nether portals, but here I wanted to add one. I feel like maybe these guys dug out this base and as they were digging the rooms, they came back here and actually found this nether portal and had no idea what it was until they went through. But once they figured out they could use this and get to other parts of the world, it became a huge advantage for them in the war against the creepers or the skeletons or anything that you want. Or it doesn't even have to be a war. Maybe they're witches. I don't know. Make up your own story. Have a blast. Be creative. All right, now we're on to our third room. As you can see, this is obviously going to be our kitchen or our uh, sm uh, smelting. I was gonna say smiting, that's a totally different thing. Our smelting area slash cooking area. Now I love putting the campfire under the smokers. It's probably one of the best little things that you can do for your world to actually make it feel alive. Anything that you can add motion to, like the saw right there in the corner, just really brings your builds to life. You know, Minecraft is an awesome looking game, but like it is just blocks. So any way that you can make your world come alive is a boon. I love it. Always place campfires if you can underneath your smokers. It's just so fun. Also right here, Please, somebody tell me how to add fish onto the put out campfires. I, I honestly don't know how I don't know how to do it. I haven't Googled it, which I should, but I don't know how to do it. Please, somebody let me know how to do it. I can't figure it out. Okay, guys, deep breath right there. This is our final room. Now, this room to me, I just started it as a storage room. Didn't have a lot of room. I was going to do some double chests here on the wall, but then I went with these, uh, you know, these tall kind of storage little areas with just the single chest. And then I was like, you know what? This would be a really good place for the armory as well. So you're going to see here in just a second that we're going to be placing four sets of armor in the corners and it really brings it together. It actually makes it look like an armory. Like if you sound the alarm, people run into this room and grab the armor off the off the armor stands and then they open the chest to get their weapons or any materials that they need for the battle ahead. You know, I really like this room. Super simple, but I think it does the job.
All right, guys, as that last armor goes up, that was the last room. This entire video has actually stressed me out. I've never done a one take voiceover. I hope it didn't annoy you too bad. I really enjoyed like talking to you guys instead of just doing a pre canned voiceover. Now, if you enjoyed this voiceover, let me know and tell me if you'd like to hear it again. I would actually be really open to it. It was really fun to talk to you guys. If you guys like the build in the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you can see all my future builds. And like always, guys, until next time, I will catch you later. Have a great day.